out of the garden and I'm trying to get another thing done here and the idea is that we can get twice as much done but if I have to get him to help me that doesn't help much now does it? Hi, I'm filming. I'm filming you for the YouTube channel while you're filming for the YouTube channel. Oh, isn't I'm this? Sure that people will enjoy that. This is so meta. Welcome back. Today, I am going to create a very cheap and very controversial type of garden. Are you ready? Let's make a tire garden. No, let's make. Two tire gardens. Two tire gardens. Uh, uh, uh. Now, some people with their tire gardens don't cut the side walls out. I like to cut one side wall out. But it's kind of hard. This is actually a lot easier if you use a jigsaw. Put a nice blade on your jigsaw and have at it. You may never be able to use that blade again, but it goes really fast. And, you know, the sidewall here, this is a lot more growing space that you can add. This is like an extra four inches all the way around, which adds up because a tire is already too small. So, you don't wanna do that. And really, if you're that lazy, you know, I mean, I'm starting to feel like I might get that lazy because this is hard to cut. Oh, check this out. Now I found the sweet spot. There's the sweet spot. Oh yeah. Right in the groove. That's much better. Cow manure. Compost. Okay, you need just a little more. Now let's plant some bok choy. These have gotten kind of leggy, but because it's an overcast day, I'm, I'm hoping they transplant all right without dying. Dying is not what we want, obviously. There's a horrible species of ant here that likes to live in decaying matter, and I've spotted some in here. It's a black ant, and I've heard it called tuk-tuk ant, because when you disturb a nest of them, they make this sound, like tick, tick, tuk, tuk, tick, tuk, tuk, sort of a, like a, it's a real, it's, it's kind of quiet, but it's a clicking sound, and they start flipping all over the place. They're really horrible, because when they get you, I think they have a stinger, it does not feel like a bite. It feels like a wasp sting. And they are in this compost right now. I'm just kind of working around them. 
So put four in that one. That should give them plenty of space. And we'll put four in this one. And we'll see if there are any. Yep, there's one right there. Hey, if nature wants to mess with me, I will mess with nature. Yeah, they're all in here. I hate these things. I haven't got stung yet. Maybe I'll get stung on film. Like brave wilderness. So I seem to have lots of brave wilderness fans here. My art school training is really uh, having a hard time with this right now because we're planting four. We should be planting three because three is a better balance point and five is a balance point. Four is not, it's too symmetrical. I've got to go get one more though because that's the space we have. There's a tuck tuck right there, son of a gun. Stay away from my tire garden. Tire you. There we go. Instant tire gardens. And that is how easy it is to make a tire garden. Now I said tire gardens are controversial. Well they are, because some people argue that tires may leach toxic substances into the garden. I'm not really sure on that. These two tires I found in the ocean, so maybe they've already leached all their toxins into the ocean which is also terrible, but at least I'm not eating the ocean, I guess. Not usually. So I don't know. I mean, I, it's, pro it's not the ideal garden. Back when I lived in Tennessee, I actually went whole hog on a tire garden. This was like 10 years ago. And I went to the local tire shop and I picked up a pile, like 30 tires, 40 tires, something like that. And I kept hauling them home and cutting the tops off. And I just put rows and rows and rows. And I did this in the early spring and I thought, man, this is great because my ground was hard and rocky and I filled them with some soil and I thought this is gonna be the greatest garden ever. And then what happened was the trees around the neighbor's yard and my yard filled in and there was so much shade that the gardens were mostly a wash. It was dumb, which is why they say, particularly permaculturalists, to observe your land for a period of time before you really jump in to making something and so ended up happening, uh, I left that yard about uh, maybe a year or so later, we moved down to Florida again, which is my home state, and uh, trying to get rid of tires is actually a pain in the neck. So a friend of mine, a pastor up there, actually my pastor, uh, took the time to go figure out where the tire reclamation facility was, and it was like 45 minutes or an hour away or something like that, and he ended up paying uh, all the tires. It was, it was a big mess, anyhow, um, but, so there you go, tire gardening. But that's how you do it, in case you wanted to do it. And we do all kinds of gardening here on the David the Good YouTube channel. And I also write a post every week, every day of every week for thesurvivalgardener.com. So thanks for joining me today for this very controversial and redneck method of gardening. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David. David the Good We listened to Portis Head And drank spiced rum Oh, I'm so depressed Every time I'm watching Davy G It's like a mess I can't believe it Hey, is that a tire garden that you're starting? I mean, what? Series, come on, boy. Ain't you afraid to eat that bok choy? Here you are with all the people that you're teaching. They're all gonna die from chemical junk leaching. It's so sad. I used to like to watch you. Nine minutes of my life gone. Wish that I forgot you. Uh. Yeah. Oh, you wish you forgot me, huh? Well listen, YouTube commenter, wouldn't it be better if you got a flying and went outside you sound like Tabby Devil? R.I.P. Or David Wilhite, who's gone, you see? People at Walmart showing up in all of my comments. Wasting the time of good gardeners and bombing it. But that aside, tired gardens are looking nifty. And you gotta admit that the reclaim is thrifty. Can't say for sure on the leeching of the toxins. Maybe I'll duck to go with along with cardboard boxes. Or maybe the 
world is so toxic it don't matter Chem trails above and glides of fate all a splatter on everything belongs to your hay bales I'm getting depressed, it's time to set sail This world's a mess Uh, what am I gonna do? Plant pak choy Get everything else MC Davy G Deep to the G, uh.